underwear. Easy ups. Inspired by toddlers. Created by Pampers. The stork. A large, waiting bird. Its role in the animal kingdom, the bringer of babies. Threatened by midwives and hospitals, storks have evolved in order to survive. Now, when they deliver babies, they deliver all the baby's necessities as well. As a result, if life were like that, you wouldn't need a Visa card for baby stuff. <laughs> Will my car be ready this afternoon like you promised? Yes. Do you guarantee all your work, even general maintenance? Yes. Will you try to sell me something I really don't need? No. Do you like Broadway show tunes? No. Summer can be rough on your car, so help keep it running with our summer-proof maintenance package. Get an oil change, coolant check, fluid top-up, tire rotation, and more for just $39. For mechanics known for their work and their word. Trust the Midas touch. Hey, 23, we're back. He's back. Rob McConnell from the X Zone. Good to have you back. Good seeing you. Boy, it's funny. Like, UFO sightings, uh, they seem to be, I don't know if it's cyclical or what, but we've had a couple of biggies recently, yeah. and I, I think what's uh, made, put them in international news is the fact the sources were seemingly credible sources, and that sparked some interest. We had the Mexican uh, UFO right. thing from uh, videotape from the Mexican Air Force. But now there's this one out of Utah that you've come in, and you're making international headlines because you've debunked it. Yeah. What happened, Bob, was... Uh this film librarian for the state of Utah was uh, apparently taking pictures for motion picture companies uh, who would in be interested in coming into Utah. Yeah, this guy's name yeah. was Tommy Woodward, Tommy and he was the yeah, the state he was the Utah Film Commission yep. official photographer. So again, a seemingly credible. Seemingly, well, well yeah. we don't know where the credibility lies mm -hmm. here, but he took uh, over a hundred pictures, and in one of them. Uh, he saw what he thought to be a UFO. He right. expanded, he enlarged the picture, and sure enough, there's a UFO there. Fox TV brought in a so-called expert, um, mm -hmm. uh, Dilatesso Jim. Oh yeah. And and Jim Dilatesso looked at the film, and there's a picture of the UFO on the uh, on the screen right now. Yeah. And he said there is no trace or proof of a hoax. Now I looked at the picture, and I've seen that UFO somewhere. Mm -hmm. I I've seen that picture somewhere, and I said that's a bunch of bunk. So using basic digitally digital enhancement equipment that we have on our software. Right. I enlarged it, pixelated it, changed the hue around it, and yeah. all of a sudden, around the UFO itself, yeah. as you can see there, there seems to be a white outline. Mm -hmm. That was the first hint to us that something was wrong with this photo. Then we changed, we enlarged it again, mm -hmm. and changed the hue again, and lo and behold, there you see it, you've got this white that's uh, the mini sub from Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. It looks like something, but that without a shadow, of, beyond a shadow of a doubt, has been altered. That picture is right. a fake. Now, De La Tesso ties into the Mexican UFO uh, with the Yeah, this guy's Air got Force. a background. Yeah, you know, he ties into the, the UFO uh, in Mexico because yeah. they, they're using him to digitally enhance and confirm that that photo, that, that footage from the infrared was legitimate. Mm -hmm. However, it goes further back with Jim because he was the expert that Fox used on the Phoenix Lights. I was going to say he was a movie effects guy, wasn't he? M movie effects, he apparently was the inventor of the colorization uh, techniques. Right. And uh, he's got, uh, he also did the uh, special effects for uh, Lost in Space. Right. So well, this is a feather in your cap because you're being credited uh, in the paranormal, paranormal community for debunking this one. Well, that's what that's what credible journalism is all about, Bob. You know, I I've been in this business since '93. We've been broadcasting whether it's uh, here mm -hmm. with you find folks at CH or on our own radio shows. You have to walk the you have to walk the line. Yeah. You have to maintain Canadian ethical broadcasting uh, qualities. And I believe that if you're going to do this job, you have to walk that line. If it's credible, say it is. Right. But definitely. If it's a hoax, debunk, debunk it. Because what you're doing is you're giving the people who have had the real experience the the nerve to come forward because they know that somebody will believe. Yeah. And what the heck was that thing flying over the Lincoln Alexander Parkway and almost hit that Cessna? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. Okay. <laughs> well, we've got more on that. Unidentified. Actually, we've identified it as a hobby rocket. Yeah. Wild story if you haven't caught it yet this morning. We'll get to that with uh, news. That's after the break. And thanks for joining us, Rob. Right. Rob Zone, the XZone, uh, radio .com is his website. We're back on TV in a couple of minutes.